Today on Ridge Roamer, a quick overview of how to set up your trailer to best haul a motorcycle. gotten a lot of questions over the years about how to properly haul a motorcycle in a trailer uh, and there's no two circumstances that are exactly the same but I wanted to give you a quick overview of my single axle enclosed trailer it's small it's only this one's a five by eight with a V nose it's enough to haul one motorcycle and keep the weight down as much as possible I've had bigger trailers uh, and I've just I, I never end up hauling more than one bike. So for me, this is all I need. It's big enough that I can then go to the lumber store and buy sheets of plywood or whatever else I need to haul. And then I do have a big uh, flatbed car hauler. So if I need to haul like 16 foot boards or, or sheet metal or anything like that, I've got that capability as well. So for me, this works best just because, you know, on longer hauls, you don't have to worry about a giant trailer behind you. Uh, it's not any more weight. It's not any more size than it needs to be. So I didn't do a whole lot to this trailer after I bought it, but I wanted to show you what I did add to make sure that hauling your motorcycle is as safe as possible. So I've seen, I would say, more damage to motorcycles in transport on trailers and in the back of trucks uh, for most people than they experience their whole time riding it so if possible always ride your bike but there are circumstances where maybe you have to take your bike to service and you don't have a, a ride home or your bike isn't able to be ridden then of course it's going to need to be hauled or if you're going on a long trip um, you, maybe you got the whole family and you're going cross country but you want to be able to go for a ride once you get there I get it uh, so I do have this trailer capable of hauling motorcycles and there's a few things that I did to make my life a little bit easier, especially since this is a uh, dual purpose. It is still a cargo trailer. It's not exclusively a motorcycle trailer. So first thing you'll notice is the addition of E-Track. So I did three rails of E-Track, one down either side and one down the front. That E-Track allows, uh, allows you to use these small, um, removable hooks here so these just snap in and you can position them anywhere you want there's different styles some are direct rings like this uh, some have straps on them you can get all kinds of neat um, neat different styles of connection points so it's just something to consider that uh, it gives you a lot of flexibility if I'm hauling a small bike, I might need them in a different position. And if I'm hauling a big bike, I might need my straps to go a little bit wider or be a little bit narrower. So the other thing that's really neat here is this particular wheel chalk. So I've had nicer wheel chalks that you can pull into and it holds the bike upright and everything like that. Uh, but this one is a little bit unique. So what's unique about this uh, particular wheel chalk is that it also utilizes the e-track so there's two spots here that you can lift up and just like that I can remove it if I need to shift it over to the side it's easy to do so gives you a lot of flexibility especially if you've got a bigger trailer uh, where maybe you might be hauling one or two motorcycles or sometimes even three if you've got e-track then you can shift them over uh, if i had a bigger trailer i'd probably offset a couple of these so i'd be able to haul one up front and then one staggered back just a little bit but there's a lot of capability a lot of flexibility with these um, so that's what i choose for for my wheel chalk the other thing you may have noticed uh, is my tie downs 
So my tie downs are secured at the bottom uh, using you know this style um, clip for the e-track but I also have them hooked up top and the reason I do that is because a lot of times when you pull a motorcycle in it would be really nice to be able to secure it without having to get off of the bike or if your back has issues like mine and you're trying to climb down even when you're next to the bike tr climb down and try to get under the handlebars to find the hook then it's kind of a pain. So with this, I installed some, uh, just some rings up higher that I can hang this on. When I'm ready for the tie down strap, it is readily available. And I know it's always gonna be there. It just makes things easier than digging around on the floor, trying to untangle them. Now with that said, the other thing, these are the Pro Taper. Um, tie downs they're a little bit more expensive but you know you're talking maybe 20 bucks for a cheap set these were i don't know 35 or 40 bucks but you get so much more they're a wider strap um, they have integrated soft tie downs i'll go over that in just a second they have a carabiner on one end so it has a positive engagement there's nothing more frustrating than getting everything attached on the motorcycle side, starting to cinch it down just to find out that your hook came undone uh, from the floor. And then you've got to get back down on the floor, loosen everything up. So it's just way, way easier um, with these extra little features. They also put a swivel. So you've got, if you end up with a twist, it just swivels and undone. So if you're you know, anal about that kind of thing, it's very easy to get your strap secure. Um, so do that on all four corners. I have the, um, the hooks up top to be able to hang it. I do use less expensive ones on the back usually just because it's not as critical. Um, but some, I do have more and sometimes I'll use those on the back as well. Just depends if they're being used somewhere else. So uh, this is not a ratchet style. This is a pole style, which on uh, the front end of a motorcycle is not a bad thing. If you ratchet your forks down and down and down, you can put so much compression on your front forks that you'll blow the seals. It's just not a good idea. So tighten these by hand when they're tight and you can't pull it more and you don't have to be like the Hulk on this either. But once you've got them tight, let it be. Um, they don't have to be cinched down until there's no suspension left. That's probably the worst thing you can do for your forks. So a um, couple things here that you can see that make life a little bit easier. And then, like I said, these do have the integrated soft ties. So when you go around, your forks or wherever you're going to secure your motorcycle the hooks themselves do not hook on the bike you can you know if i'm hauling something else and i need to, to hook it down you know just a hook onto that i can use that hook but primarily they're designed to be a soft tie and then you just cinch it down and you're good to go so and then release is very easy as well and pops right off so, Definitely recommend those. This is my setup. Um, four tie downs is not excessive. When I haul an antique bike, uh, I'll often do six tie downs just because, especially in an enclosed trailer, once you're moving, you can't see, you can't tell what your uh, bike is doing. And so safer, the better. Um, another thing to note on this E-Track, I did go through and make sure to hit all of the metal cross members so these are not just into the wood if you do it into the wood that's fine they give you uh, bolt holes every inch and a half or two inches there so you can run that through and it's not going anywhere i chose to use less bolts and go into the metal cross members just so i know it's it's good and secure um, you got any questions any other ideas uh, best practices that you use I do wish they had an e-track style wheel chalk 
that was the roll-on style that would capture your front wheel. I have yet to see that. Um, and I really do like this flexibility of being able to pull it out of here when I'm hauling lumber or something else. So for me, that's what works right now. I hope you guys got a little something out of this. Something to use in your own uh, trailer. And these, these can be used in an open or an enclosed trailer. A small uh, single axle one bike trailer like this one or significantly larger. I've seen guys have similar setup in a big car hauler enclosed trailer where they're fitting, you know, four big touring bikes in it. So great option for flexibility where you get one in, you need to move it over four inches. It's easy to do that. You just unhook it, move it over four inches. You can even move your tie downs accordingly. Hope you all have a great day. Appreciate you watching. Comment, subscribe.